Broken Blade special. This is the problem. I think there's two big things I'm seeing in the series. LeBlanc, if Misfit's winning this game, and here it's blind picks. Just, I mean, it's it's the meta right now, right? Nar is the go-to blind pick, but when you're up against a player like Broken Blade, who can even if, you know, if you... Mercer gets it, all of a sudden, the cross map that Misfit's wanted to come out with is just shut down immediately. But I am happy to see Misfit's making that play. Vicho shoved uh -oh. the wave in and tried to gank, ultimately didn't work. Yankos will be able to catch out Neon, who is flashless, who is healless, and Mercer will be the next target. We'll get rooted in place by Caps, potentially locked down as well, and that should be just another one for Flacket, as well as one for Yankos. G2. They are able to generate a significant lead very early. It's already 1,600 gold. No, this game is even better from G2. The macro is absolutely beautiful, and they're not slowing down. Six-minute Dre coming through as well with all the priority that thing. He's actually going to be allowed to do so, but down towards the bot side, Neon, still no flash. No, not, not available, and will be able to just get run down. Targamas and Flacket using that Moonlight for Misfits right now. That's the thing, He's, who's even going to stop this Drake? Like, no one's grouped around the Drake. They're just getting this for free because they have all the priority around it. Misfits, they have to look Down for something. 20 CS mid, top lane matchup. Invested so much resource from Misfits, still winning out and has to push. Bot side though. Shlatan's making his way into the fight. Flacket's got the road gun and oh taking down God, Neon already. Here comes Shlatan, but it's too little, it's too late, and it simply doesn't matter. Two more to G2. Gentlemen, I don't want to jinx it, but... <laughs> from my experience and looking at this draft, I think we might have a perfect game on our hands unless G2 blunder, and they have done in the past. Maybe Misfits can punish it, and I don't want to count Misfits out, but just looking at the draft, the game state, it's horrific right now despite the gold advantage. Does Rift Herald? Need to be secured for it to be a perfect game because oh, Misfits does. did secure that one. You were, you were unable to see that because they were fixing your headset. And now Shlatan is trying to jump onto Yankos and this oh, may be anyway. the first <laughs> kill secured. Command of this series. They are playing exceptionally well around the map and they are dealing with any aggression that Misfits throw at them. Oh, they're not even done. Broken Blade looking for Shlatan as well. This is the jungler getting ganked by the top laner. Oh, it's just going to get punished for this one here. It's going to dodge away. The just coming in and now Caps fighting in mid. Just took the tower. Ooh, that's a flash forward into the ultimatum. Caps will be the target and okay. here it secures the kill. Ends up being advantage to completely suffocate Misfits. Definitely can. And you saw what here it did there. Actually a good play. Uh, this Camille Jax matchup will only get worse as we talked about many times. Mm -hmm. What Camille wants to do is team wants to push both sides. Caps and Broken Blade, top and bot, pushing them both in and they have two choices. One, move mid and collapse on this Misfits who now get their first tower looking for a second or two. Keep pushing themselves. Looks like they're going to collapse. Here come the TPs. Double TP. Right, so this is going to be a big flank. Two towers secured. Slatsan, can he do anything yet? To hop over the wall from Broken Blade and Neon's going to get hopped up. The Devour will buy some time from Mercer. Hextech ultimatum is thrown in and Vizio joins the fray. Targamas running for his life and Mercer's going low. Mercer may just get dropped. Not yet as Yankos buys time with that stopwatch. Finally, get kill is secured. Super Mega Death Rocket goes out. A great sidestep from Herod. Glacial Path forward oh. into the flash. W! Caps locks up Neon. The kills are secured. It is at the cost of his life, but beautiful catch from Looking into this on even footing. You're running away from a team who's vastly ahead of you. So the time game just... And resources ganking that lane, pushing it forward. And it's allowed to Flacket to take over. Hextech Ultimatum will be thrown down onto him. There's a gigantic bounty available. Oh, the Flacket. Is so huge. Flacket is now running for his life, and Schlatten simply can't catch him. Flash now used as well. Vito finally secures a kill onto Target Mask, but Flacket in a 2v3 it is, is able to bounce it back. Now Broken Blade, Counter Strike, not in range just yet. The leap is flashed away from as Schlatten gets out. Flacket is going to be able to continue pushing as now all of a sudden Neon arrives. Super Mega Death Rocket is not available. It's on cooldown, and that's a jump. Devoured by Mercer, buying Broken some. Blade joins well. They're just forced to run away, and then there's the replay. No, it's just the exact same place we're fighting. Another fight in the same location. Yankos takes down a Neon. Here it does teleport in. The ultimatum will be available in just a moment, but Flacket is stepping through the tri-bush. Two members are knocked up of Misfits and Vitos trying to hold back Caps. That's another dead. Schlatan is taken out. The Counter-Strike under the tower. Knock up as well. Going golden for Broken Blade. Knock available for the kill. And <laughs> this is just obliteration. Close your eyes. Tail from the get-go. The laning matchup didn't even favor the Misfits. They really need to go back to the drawing board because if they don't get anything working for them in the early every single person on Misfits Captain the Dragon Flash. is being tagged up here by Misfits the Moonlight Vigil is thrown out Misfits are running away for the time being the ultimatum is chucked onto Target Mats and the soul is secured by G2 now Misfits are running for their lives Neon has a couple of autos to throw out but it simply scratches the back of G2 there's not enough damage there's not enough time there's not enough gold for Misfits today is not Misfits' oh. day it's G2's they're getting absolutely everything they wanted in these last two games and Misfits are left with scraps. I mean, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I'm disappointed in what I'm seeing from Misfits. It was a up and down spring season. They had surprising wins. They had high highs, but also low lows. And today it feels like as a team, 
they are being outplayed by G2, and individually, they are being outlaned by G2. The base has been broken open, and G2 can decide when they want to close this It's out. individually, it's as a team, it's the rotation we see from G2, it's the objective set up, every single thing we can mention about fundamentals in League of Legends. Currently, G2 are just doing them better. They really are. Baron Buff still being used to push in the middle inhibitor turret. Here it will now try to defend the inhibitor right, itself. G2 being so dominant, I will say, hang on a second, as we see someone getting caught out here, Shlatan has the flash if he wants to escape here. Oh, my, will it be worth it? He's jumped on, flashes away and rooted up. The Devour's used, and Mercer Hall keeps him alive a few seconds longer. That top tower does fall. The eighth of the game, Broken Blade steps once again onto here at Neon's running for his life. Forced to flash from the entrance, and now all of a sudden, a gigantic minion wave pouring into the base. Misfits, they are trying to defend, but it is so improbable. Yeah, the only time Towers left, they have now are the Nexus. G2 can take this inhibitor, move towards mid, and that's three inhibs down. Misfits have nothing else but just fighting. Caps goes in, goes golden, and VTO is taken out by a broken blade. Flecker gets yet another, and the last three members of Misfits running for their lives. The ultimatum onto Broken Blade instantly flashed away from. Somehow, here it stays alive. Neon does have a little bit of time to work with, but the super is now pouring in two lanes. 30 second death timers for VTO and Shlatan. And of course, uh, that is a very fed, very farmed, very powerful fucking another kill secured. Mercer will be the next to drop, and here it stays alive inside the fountain. <laughs> it is showboating, it is celebrating, it is oh, absolute yeah, domination <laughs> from G2. They go 2 0 in the series. I mean, KDA boys. I mean, it's just dominant, isn't it? Start to finish. G2 don't really look.